How to record personal funds used for business in QuickBooks Online. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. So I'm gonna show you three ways uh, to record this. It happens, you use a personal credit card for business purposes, uh, or you use your checking account, cash, whatever the case may be. So I'm gonna show you how to record this in QuickBooks in three different ways. All right, so the different ways depend on what you're gonna do. So are you gonna pay yourself back right away? Are you gonna like just track it and pay yourself back over time? Are there multiple members in your company that might be unrelated to you? So you wanna get that money back at some point because the other person didn't put money in, et cetera. All right, so the first way is, so if you spend money on your business and it's personal money and you want to get paid back, sooner rather than later and what you're going to do is simply go and put in a bill so you go up to the new button you click on bill and you are going to put yourself in as a vendor all right so yes you're an owner and yes you may be an employee but you're going to put yourself in as a vendor then you know all this should populate terms bill date due date etc the important thing is down here under category, what you're going to do is put in the expense of what it was you spent the money on. So, for example, if this was you went to the office supply store, you bought office supplies, you accidentally used your personal credit card or you accidentally used your personal checking account, you're just going to go in here and put in office supplies and the amount and this will show up as a bill just like any other bill to pay in QuickBooks. All right. So again, this you want to do this if you want to get paid back right away. These are typically going to be small amounts. It's not money that you just deposit into the business to fund it, to start it up, etc. This is just going to be an ongoing type expense that you just accidentally use personal money or maybe you use money on purpose, personal money on purpose because uh, the business just didn't have any money. OK, so this is a very simple way. You just say, hey, I'm going to pay myself back. It's going to be a bill just like any other bill that I enter in QuickBooks and I'm going to pay myself back. All right. And when you pay yourself back, it can be by bank transfer. It can be by check, whatever you want to do. All right. Now, the second way you're going to do this is if you're putting money in and this is typically going to be used as uh, if you're a 100 percent owner. Now, if um, let's say that you you could do one of two things. You could just deposit personal money into the business. Like say it's you know a thousand bucks. You're just going to put a thousand dollars of personal money into the business, or you go to the office supply store, just like in the previous example, and you want to record that on the books. But you're the 100% owner. It doesn't really matter if it's equity. It doesn't matter if it's going to be paid back right away. At some point, you own the business 100%. At some point, it's going to be paid back. All right, so I like to do this uh, by journal entry. Now, you can go directly to a register and do this as well, uh, but I typically like to go to new and then go down to journal entry. Now, journal entries are a little confusing for people because there's debits and credits and so on and so forth. So let's say you put in the date, you put in a journal entry number. I like to put my initials on the entry number. Okay, so let's say that you deposit $1,000 to the business account, just as, you know, hey, I gotta put money in here. You're gonna go in, you're gonna put checking, okay, because you're putting money into the checking account. This is a debit, uh, a debit increases the checking account. You're going to put in a description like, hey, I just deposited some personal money. You don't need to put in a name. It's not necessarily necessary, uh, but just put in a description so you know what it was later on. Now, the second line, what you got to do, because the journal entry has to balance. Debits and credits have to equal each other. Right now, they don't balance. So again, if you are the 100% owner, what we're going to do is we're going to create an account. So it's going to be an equity account. You see there's opening balance equity and retained earnings. Well, we want to add a new one that is equity. This detail type, uh, you can just put owner's equity. And what we're going to name this is owner contribution. And you don't necessarily need a sub account, if, or I mean a description. If you have a sub account, great. Uh, and you don't need to fill in this. Uh, when do you want to start tracking? 
So we're going to say owner's contribution, a thousand bucks. So what this is doing is saying, okay, you put in a thousand dollars into the checking account of your personal money and you're just putting it in as equity. You own the business, you know, so it's going to get paid back at some point. It's not a loan, but you might take an owner distribution. So we're just going to put it in there and track it. The important thing is we are tracking it here. All right. Now, let's say it was office supplies instead. So if that was the case up here, instead of checking, because you're not depositing money into the checking account, we're going to say office. Well, they have office expenses here. Office expenses. So this would be if you went out and you spent personal money on the business and you don't put it in as a bill, you can just say this is office expenses, owner contribution. So again, this is just a simple way to make sure you're getting that expense on the books for personal money spent. All right, those are the first two ways. Now, the third way that uh, I tell people too is, you know, the first way was enter a bill because you want to get paid back right away. The second way was just showing it as equity in the business owner contribution, if it's putting money in or, um, or spending money on off supplies. Now, the third way is if, hey, I want to be paid back, but it doesn't have to be right away. And this could be when you have multiple people in one business. So you have multiple owners, maybe you're unrelated, and you're like, hey, I spent this money. I want to get paid back. It doesn't have to be paid back right away, but I want to record the fact that the business owes me money. All right. So in that case, instead of doing a bill, because, you know, the bill will show as past due and all that kind of stuff. And if you're just tracking it for the time being, what you're going to do is you're going to say, OK, office expenses again or checking account if you put money in the checking account. So office expenses, twenty seven dollars and 19 cents. And instead of owner contribution, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new account and we're going to call this a long term liability. All right, now it's payable, and you can say due to, I'll put due to owner. You can put someone's name in there if you want, but we're going to say due to owner. So this will show up now once we record this. This will show up on the balance sheet as the business owes you $27.19. So it won't be equity. It will be a liability. Very, very important. Now, again, same thing. If you put in $1,000 into the business and let's say your, your business partner didn't and you want to track that, hey, instead of equity, I'm going to put this in as a debt because I want to be paid back for this 1000 bucks, and my partner didn't put money in. Same thing, journal entry, increased checking with a debit 1000 bucks due to owner 1000 bucks. So again, the balance sheet will record that there is money owed to the owner. All right. So those are the three ways. It all depends on what your objective is. The first one is, hey, I'm going to get paid back pretty quickly. Just do a bill. You can do that if you have multiple owners or if it's just you. Second way, you're going to uh, record it as owner equity. That's typically going to be if you own the business 100 percent. And the third way is, hey, I want to be paid back. It doesn't have to be a bill. It doesn't have to be right away. I just want to track this because there might be multiple owners in the business the other owner didn't put money in, you did, and you want to track that you want to be paid back. And that would be this third way. All right. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below, and I will see you in another video.